Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Craig here on the Bonnock, where I just, I'm in my water clothes. Just got out of the pond, clearing out a bunch of the water lilies. Three different kinds, right? You got the white one, the pink one, lotus flower actually, is the one I'm keeping. I'm trying to take out most of that white, or a lot of it, because it grows twice as fast. And then, uh, I have some of the red ones or the pink ones I have over here in that corner. They're starting to spread over there and it is kind of invasive, so. Whew. That was about two hours of that stuff right there. I gotta go in here to my shop house. By the way, yes, I've been working every day diligently. Yesterday it was like 10 hours or something. I don't know why, but no lunch. So today I felt a well, little weak, so I figured I'd chill, maybe not do the work in the shop house here until afternoon. Yeah, the brick laying as, you know, it, it seems like easy, right? Put down the mud, slap on the brick, make sure it's balanced, next, 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 you know. At least not for me. I try to make sure everything's, you know, totally perfect, I guess, which is probably what I shouldn't be doing. Let me. I need some water for my cement mixing and for this outdoor drain tank. This is a, my outdoor filter back here. I got taps on the bottom. I wash my uh, cement tools and all that with that. But today, I thought I would, uh, you know, try to do some water work. And that was, you can probably see this. Still plenty of lotus flower out there, but I cleared a lot of it out. I took the drone out get, uh, yesterday, and I went over the flowers, went straight up to you know look at everything. starting you know that gets out of hand it's uh it's a it's a real bear to clean up nobody wants to yank on on all those vines as it was i was probably out there like i said it was probably a good two hours but i need a machete there's one of my machetes because, uh, okay. I was walking by that pond over there and I saw that one of my bananas is ready to cut. It's about as ripe as it can be before you want it off the vine, you know. You wait till it's already yellow, then they'll, they'll ripen too fast on you. Won't be able to eat them all. You know, you don't want to. You don't want them to go to waste, right? So I freeze. I can freeze a certain amount of them. Use them for banana smoothies, especially because they're smaller ones. But you got to freeze them right if you want them to not turn brown in the freezer. But yeah, buddy. We get some. Oh man, this this one here. Take a look. This that ain't ripe yet, but I can see from the rain or whatever. That thing's falling over, man. I gotta get a stick. Hold on here. Fortunately, I have sticks. Bamboo. No, let's go two by four. See if I can't prop this up. 
at least, you know, put it under it so it don't, don't fall. Uh, I'm going to do this one hand. Ouch. Ooh. Eh, well, that's all right for now. But my other one, oh yeah, right there. She is ready. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna put you down here in the grass. Whoa. Oh, there we go. What I don't want. There you go, man. There's all that banana sap to drip on me. Because that is a nightmare. Don't get it on your clothes. Don't, whoop. Don't let it drip on you because it will not come off. It will permanently change your clothes. It has a deep, deep, dark kind of stain to it. That's why they do banana prints and stuff, you know? Cut the banana tree stump down and then put it up, yeah? All right, well, let me get to it. All right, I got you. Ooh. So I've decided to try and make a kind of a table slash seat extra for that, uh, for the boat, man. Put stuff on there, you know, and do my thing. Have some beers. That's what this is really about. But, but this wood, I don't know if you can see this, but this uh, sawdust is like pure red, man. This is like the teakest of wood. I probably shouldn't even have cut this piece of wood. It was, I thought it might be something different, but after I cut into it, it's 100%. This piece, of, this single piece of wood, which I cut in four pieces, it's probably, you know, 200 years old or something. Anyway, it's a done deal. But, just to show you, just to demonstrate how badass this wood is. You know, thinking I want to I wanna put these legs under it, right? So you want to, oh, I'm going to nail it. As soon as you nail it, it'll stop right there and bend. Not because it's cheap nail, but because the wood is so dense. So, I figured I'd drill through it. Which is weird, because it... Well, this is a brand new bit, so it's probably easier, but... But, uh, you know, anyway. Let's see if this is going to work. I might still need to drill into the second piece of wood because, you know, running into the same, same issue, right? Kind of, sort of. Yeah, it looks like that'll work. So I'll drill. I'll just drill through the first piece of wood. 
hammer it into the second. It feels like it's pretty strong. I'll probably do that a couple more times. So the idea is that it's kind of like, uh, you know, be like a car caddy, you know, like in your car you have a or truck, you have a little box in the middle or just any place that you put stuff. So <clears throat> that looks like it's gonna work. And no, it don't need to be perfect. I do want it to be strong because it's going to wedge in there. I took measurements of the width of the boat, you know, starboard and port sides there. And the idea was make the planks as wide as the boat and then put the legs. You, well, shoot, that's right. Wait a minute. The legs on the outside or the inside. The outside would be better. But if I, if I put them on the outside, the width is a 30. But that's edge to edge. So if we're going to be on the inside, they need to be inside the width of the inside. And if they're going to be on the outside, they actually have to be on the outside. Shiatsa. You know what they say? Measure one, uh, measure twice, cut once. So I better go measure the inside of my boat. Sixty-three cent on the inside. Which means I don't know guys, what do you think? Should we take it off? And dang it. That thing's probably on there too, man. this in here with five pre-drilled good hole nails that thing ain't coming out man maybe what I can do is I'll just measure this this is the inside I'll measure this to 63. Ow, man. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. So if this is 63, then I'll just have one side of it hanging over. I wanted both sides though. See, that's what happens sometimes too. The wood is so hard that the bit will, will pinch in there. So you gotta watch it. Bit will just kind of break off. Or maybe I should do them opposite. No, can't do that. Just in case, I'll tap the point. Help prevent splitting. Oh, you didn't. No, it's not coming out. Got to be swift and fast. I drilled five holes in this thing. All right.
nails are all rusty from I left my tool my nail box open one day and it of course rained filled up the toolbox or the nail box all right well if all calculations have been made even though there's a little lip hanging over here it's probably okay because oh it gives me the ability to pull it out I guess because it should wedge in this boat, man. Uh, oh, and it's heavier than heavy, too. Let's go check it out, man. And because it's heavy, I also thought that it would help counterbalance the end of the boat because in a long boat like this, you sit in one end. It's heavy in the other. So, all right, let's see if this will do it. Yeah, man. Okay. go right kind of wedge like I wanted it to there you go See, that thing's solid but I made that mistake I should have put the you know when I measure these things I should have I should have actually measured it longer, but this is the only piece of wood. It was this exact length. So, I, I frankly wouldn't have been able to cut them any different, but I, I could have nailed this one to the center there different. Because now it can slide down. Well, I can just probably find one bar and put it on the, put it on the back side or something to keep them both up, you know. But well, you could sit on it probably. On this side anyway. Because I still got like two inches underneath. So I can't really sit down on it. But I can put stuff on it. Let me go see if I can get another piece of wood. We're going right here. Yeah, like this. Huh. Yeah, man. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put this other. Oh, Cheek beam on the edge of this oh heavy ass wood bench I just made well slash slash table Yeah, there you go, man. This will keep it up. Let's probably put one on this side. Do I have more? Do I have more? I don't think so. I got stuff off I can cut up, but be like that. 
Hmm. All right, man. Well, let's see what else I can do with it. I wonder. If I can make it into a barbecue. <laughs> For the boat, I mean, you know. Alright, let me back at you.